put this a lot higher. However, the game is not finished. Two years, guys. Two years. Well, I wasn't expecting to do a review about this. Welcome, everyone, to the MGM channel. I'm your host, Cornish. You know what? I, I, I can't believe this is... It happened so quick, didn't it? Uh... The video I put up on the on the top five scary games, I put Visage on number four. Only reason being is because I have not heard of the game for two years. No updates, no nothing. And then after that video, a week later, we get an announcement of the release date. Wow. <laughs> wow. So this is a video that needs to be deserved of a review on its own. And I, and I personally think this is such a good horror game. I, I forgot about my old horror past. Let's go and talk about the game Visage. What is that? Dude, I don't like this. Oh, Jesus, save me. Visage is a first-person horror game which is, has a photorealistic graphics, which is inspired by PT itself. Now, small talk about PT. Thank you, Konami. Thank you so much for not making this wonderful game. With PT releasing, we've we've had some amazing games like Layer Fears, Observer, and even Visage itself, and many, many more which are out on the Steam page. So it starts off with your character named Dwayne Anderson uh, has been locked inside a big house. Now the house itself is a string of different murders, suicides, and other creepy, nasty stuff. Like any any family who's moved in there has died in there. Jesus Christ. So you as the character is haunted by surreal and terrifying remnants of the past and a lot of group as I said a lot of gruesome murders you have to uncover and why there's a link between you and all these gruesome murders happening. Now I want to talk to you about the uh, the house itself. It's absolutely massive. It really is and it's so good because there's no music. It's just quiet. There's the, the oh my god the environment itself is just creepy it's got that awesome eerie atmosphere no music at all and oh, it, it, you hear those tiny little bumps that t t just gets you sketched out oh, I don't want to come down here Now, as you explore in the house, things can happen called hauntings and other creepy stuff. And if you are staying in the dark too long, your sanity goes off the rail. And if your sanity loses, you end up getting killed or dying. Something gruesome. I, 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 I am too scared to even get that far into being uh, insane. Um, there are different tools around. You've got cameras, sledgehammers, crowbars. Um, you've got uh, sanity pills to help you uh, help your brain fix again in the game. Uh, candles around, broken light bulbs or fixed light bulbs so you can stay in the light. Uh, that's a necessity in the game is to stay in the light. And also lighters. That is your most friendliest tool in the game. Uh, with other tools like sledgehammers and uh, crowbars, if you do lose a crowbar or sledgehammer, it's always down in the basement. Great. Uh, in one of the lockers, so you can just retrieve it anytime you you know you think you've lost it. Oh, you just go back down and grab it. Story-wise, there's multiple chapters. Uh, I decided to go straight to Dorothy's chapter, and uh... oh my god, Jesus Christ! Oh boy, I think I just found him, mate. Go. Me! Oh, dude! Oh! Oh! Yeah, okay.
Okay, yeah, you need to go into the basement. Yeah, she's behind me, dude. Ah! Oh! Oh! But there are also times, especially like this clip I'm about to show you, is where it's unpredictable. Upstairs towards where uh, one area is, uh, you need to, if I remember correctly, it's, 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 remember there was like the window and you couldn't pry it open with the hook. You know what I mean? Wait, wait. Ah! Oh, the... Me! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Dude, wow, they actually did that. Oh, yeah, that was good. <sighs> no, dude, that was insane. Dude, that was so that was they didn't, whoa. They didn't even announce it. Either. Wow, yeah. Uh oh, Jeez. time to go down. Surprisingly, from all the trailers I've seen back in the uh, early access. I thought to myself, ah, oh, they ain't gonna get through this game. No, 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 Th this is a photorealistic horror. This is the Silent Hill PT we wanted. And uh, you know what? I wanted to push through. Every scare and every puzzle moment, every time I was getting freaked out, I just wanted to go through. I just wanted to get through. And, you know, that that's cool. I miss games like that, you know? I miss games where... You know, it, I'm like, oh, it's so bad, it's scary, but I need to push through to see the story. I want to, uh, rather than, um, oh god, I'm going to quit. I am done for today. <laughs> I will say, because I I have not looked up anything, I've not spoiled anything, uh, I haven't even, like, seen anything. I played this completely blind, and do you know how long it took me? Four hours! I'm not even joking! Four hours it took me to just get through one chapter. This game is worth its price. Yeah, it was um, it was an interesting experience. It, the cool thing about the uh, the game I, when I was playing it is I kind of forgot the whole backtracking. You know, like it, with these certain old horror games, you learn to backtrack to go to different areas to go, or go back to the area to unlock something like Resident Evil for instance you know you, you grab one key you have to go back to another area so you can unlock another area and continue forward to a different area that's the same with Visage right here um, I like that and it made me forget how stressful <laughs> tracking back to different areas is and with the with the with the scares in the game and the whole creepy thing and a ghost absolutely chasing you around the house uh, it's kind of uh, sketchy. They do say in the first bit, make sure you take it nice and slow. And when they say nice and slow, they mean nice and slow. Because if you try and bum rush this game like I tried, uh, it doesn't work in your favor very much. So take it nice and slow. Remember everything you see and uh, you should be all right. Oh, also run away from the ghost if they start coming after you. Trust me, it works. Uh, with Visage in each chapter, there's always something different, so always something new happening around the house. Um, with Dorothy's chapter, uh, I could go through a mirror after breaking it, and then going to different areas of the of this parallel world. So, say for instance, I could be in the in the labyrinth seeing David Bowie, or <laughs> not even joking about David Bowie, but hey, <laughs> you, you will get what I mean. Um, you know, to parks, to graveyards, to all sorts, just to uh, unsolved mysteries. Um, it, that's a pretty cool touch, so you don't get bored staying around in the house too long. Some of the puzzles can be very, very tricky and very, very uh, hard to see or find. We spent an hour looking for one thing, one thing, and that was the hook for the ceiling. And we spent ages looking around the house and then just out of nowhere this dude just stood there looking at us and we followed him and in one of the rooms there's the hook. That, that, that's also annoying. Yeah, there is a lot, again, a lot of backtracking but yeah, it's, it's alright. Um, there are, I, I did see a, a there is a pro, like, my only downfall for my chapter is I could not find a single sanity pills. So I was relying on luck and wit, and every chapter, oh, every check, and, and every checkpoint we go to, um, and if we die, we get our sanity back anyway. So that's 
looked alright, but would like to have some more sanity pills around the house because bloody hell it was a nightmare but as i said there are multiple chapters uh so far we've hit two chapters there is a third one i think and there is other chapter there is even a secret stuff so if you do explore around the house you'll find some i guess lore story about your character and uh you know we found a few but we haven't got them all yet we're gonna be doing that very very soon check us out on twitch.tv forward slash cornish games nights mm, shouldn't be plugging that in but hey we're gonna have some fun but if i was to say would this be a great horror game hell yeah yes definitely this is definitely one in the collection right here right in that collection um i'm glad i have it it's right up there with amnesia which i'm glad i have and i think everyone should give it a try and that is it for Visage. Uh, that's all I can say, really. It's a great game. You guys need to go and check it out. The links are in the description of the uh, the game at the Steam page. Um, make sure you have the lights off. Make sure everything's turned up so you can hear everything. And don't do what I did and have a friend with me because I was pussying out way too much. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because, man, we're going to make some more of these awesome videos. We've got some... Cool new content coming up. Uh, we do have a blog page, so make sure you have a look at that. Uh, that's all in the description, including the article of Visage. And I'll see you soon. You take care and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Hey!